Okay, and you have the Skype feed up as well, I take it, so that you can read notes and type things back, yes? Yeah, I'll just get that up, yeah. Just make sure I'm recording. Let's make sure, yeah, 17 seconds, we're on the record. That's good. Right. Okay. Sit back, relax, and uh, let's go. <clears throat> okay. How to write a killer job ad that will bring in hundreds of applications from people who aren't experienced producers, but people who will do what they're told and follow our system. Yeah. First thing we've got to do here is put the horse before the cart and write the system. Yeah. Then we'll decide how to write – well, we've got how to write an ad uh, to attract certain people to follow our system. There are three elements in that. So what we do is we design the system. Then we say, who is the individual? Yeah. And then we say, where, do, where are they and how do we attract them? Yes. Then moving on from that, we'll look at where to best advertise to, to find these people. Uh, and you say on a modest budget, so we want to advertise for free or a minimal cost. Um, what the recruitment process is from A to Z, from taking the application, acknowledging it, the first word we say to them, and uh, uh, right the way through to deciding. Yeah. Um, routines, for, so strategy for... Uh, uh, training, sure. coaching, conferences, uh, conference call frequencies, uh, sales meetings, caps, re reporting, etc. Um, and then all of the above is about building a system that can be duplicated by each area manager to manage end to end from initial job ads through to the very first sale. Um, so that's what we're going to cover in the first hour. Okay, and your managers are crucial to this, key crucial to this. What I'm going to be presenting you with now, John, is a system that irrespective of genre or sector, um, this works in terms of recruiting, training and motivating a self-employed sales force. Now, let me just qualify what I said by genre, sector, irrespective. Whether this is auto-enrollment, double glazing, you know, uh, uh, multi-level marketing, right, um, fitted kitchens, insurance sales, uh, uh, timeshare, um, Avon ladies, Avon guys and girls going out, you know, door-to-door -door distributors. It really doesn't matter. The, the, what was, for, Forget the product and the genre. And forget B2B or B2C. That's irrelevant. The system is about... Recruit, train, motivate. It's about the system. And it, that system, when it is constructed properly, trained properly, understood and managed properly day to day by everybody involved, it will work for B2C, B2B. It will work for any product. It will work anywhere in the world and it will work in any economy. Okay? So that's absolutely crucial. Okay, so I'm the sales director in this role play that you said. You're the regional manager. You've come on board. Here's the first thing um, uh, about our system. And the very first thing that we need to cover is the last thing you've given me, which is the purpose. Okay, yeah. so our purpose, that purpose is um, – it's at the front. I mean, if you can type this down, that'd be great. Because for me to be spontaneous and be able to talk and present uh, and type, I can't do that. It's too. It's too. It's left brain and right brain at the same time. Sure. So the first thing is that that purpose needs to be on the front page of the website. It needs to be on the front page of all documentation. It needs to be on the wall. It needs to be uh, uh, literally everybody's mantra. It, it's the why. If we look, if you look at Simon Sinek, what start with why on YouTube, Simon. Simon Sinek, start with why. You need to get all of your people to watch that. Everybody in the organization needs to watch that, and then you give them this, and you say, this is our why. It needs to be on the front page of the training manual. It needs to also be at the start of the sales training CD, the sales training recording that we're going to do for the guys, that you're going to do, it, which will be zero cost, that they'll be listening to. Um, it needs to be literally underpinning everything it is the law the word yeah it's the yeah. genesis it's the start of the bible so to speak as regards your business yeah. so that's that purpose everything falls off of this purpose yeah 
if anything that we're, if any decisions we take have to comply with this purpose, any acti all activities have to contribute to this purpose. We do what well, everything we do is about fulfilling this purpose. Uh, yeah, yeah. That, that 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 will then mean that we will walk in purpose. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So that's the first thing I wanted to say. So now let's look at this system. Okay. Yeah. Now, as I see it right now, what we have is we have you as the regional manager, and we have three managers. Yes. Right. Yeah. Three area sales managers, and they're self-employed player managers. They're on the field playing, so they sell and they manage. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Absolutely. And yeah. I'm familiar with this structure, and I've worked with this structure, and I've built sales teams around this structure. Okay. So, uh, um, this is this is effectively what we've got is we've got a structure where we have the sales director, which for purposes of this is me, then we have the regional manager. Can you see that okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay, then we have your three area managers, ASM, area sales manager, ASM, area sales manager, and then we have their soldiers, okay? Yeah. So typical Roman hierarchical structure, okay? That's what we have, yes? Yeah. And we have units of manpower. So the ultimate here in terms of, and what we have above this, by the way, is our purpose. So right above this is the purpose of the business that we've just stated, yeah? Yeah. If you're, and, and, you know, for the purposes of putting together uh, the hierarchical structure and getting all everything in writing. This needs to be on there for everybody to see. The purpose is at the top. Then there's you as the regional sales manager. Then there is, um, and by the way, I would call re rename yourself sales director for everybody's purposes. That's what you need to be doing. Yeah. Um, then you have the area sales directors or whatever. You know, give them a title they can be proud of. And then you have yeah. the effective units of manpower. Yes? Yeah. Now, the ultimate goal is that every single one of these effective units of manpower, we're talking about being effective, okay? So, now you can tweak this if you want, but an effective unit of manpower is one sale per week. That's an effective unit of manpower to start with. When we can raise it to two, when we've got most people doing two, that's great. But to start with, we have to get each one of them selling every week that they in, from their first week, right? Yeah. And the area manager also has to sell one a week. He has to lead from the front. Yeah. Yes. He must lead from the front. Yeah. yeah? You're also, as the sales director, you're st are you still doing selling? Yes, absolutely. Right, yeah. so you're doing it as well. Yeah. Nothing works better than when the boss goes to a sales meeting or jumps on an area sales director's conference call, ASD, area sales director's conference call, um, uh, or you could call them regional sales director's conference call each week, and you jump on that and you say, yeah, I got my sale, and I use the CAP system, and I use the... Uh, uh, the Shire and City Purpose Sales Presentation, whatever we want to call it, because we're going to produce a CD, which is the process of prospecting and selling, okay? And that will be the, the law. That's what everyone's going to have to learn. And you will, do, you will uh, deliver a sale a week or more by using that system. Yeah. And they will all have have, including the uh, regional sales director, he'll have his CD and that system for prospecting and for selling, and he'll produce one a week. And they'll all have their own, and they'll be tested on that every week, um, and they'll have role plays on it every week, and the, the weekly conference call meeting or face-to-face -face regional meeting um, will be going through the sales process each week, then each regional sales director every week as well will have one-to-ones with his people, and we'll talk more about that. Am I clear so far? Absolutely, yeah. Yes? Yeah, yeah. So we're talking about the system first. Yeah. First, I need to talk structure. So we're talking about credibility from the top. The purpose is walked by you and it's not that you turn up with this sale and say look guys here I am and this is what I've done and I'm great and they say well how's he doing it you're doing it the same way you're teaching them yeah. so you're credible from your regional sales directors in, in their eyes you as the sales director national sales director whatever you are uh, uh, walking your talk they then, they then respect you and they will do what you do 
Yes, they will do likewise. Yes, yeah. And similarly, they must each produce a sale a week from the same system. So going yeah. to design now from the same system, not from some different system, yeah. not from some fancy alternative, from the same system. Then we train each of our units of manpower, each of our soldiers to go out every week and they score each week at least one. Yes? Yeah. Um, which then means that they're active and they are now likely to stay with us. Yes? Yeah. Okay. Um, any questions so far? No, spot on so far. Yeah? Spot on yeah, so far. Yeah, yeah. Great. Yeah. Okay. So let's now, talk, let's now just em enlarge a little bit on this structure and this system before we then decide how we're going to populate it and what people yeah. have got to do and then how we're going to advertise for it and recruit and train. Yes? Sure. Is this what you wanted so far, John? Perfect, Paul. Perfect. Okay. Right. So next step is we now begin to talk a little bit more about um, the processes. So to start with, um, once we have got the candidate through the recruitment process and we are saying, right, now we are bringing you in to the business. Yes? Yeah. So we're then going to train them. Okay, we'll talk about this training over here. And then when they have been adequately trained by the company, they are given to the regional sales director. Right? That's, that's yeah. what a business needs to do. Okay? Yeah. Um, I will explain why. So what happens here is that the national sales director, either himself or with a another, but not these guys, okay? Yeah. Um, they have the system, yes? And then yeah. what happens is once the interview process has been done, the, uh, the national sales director says to the... Uh, uh, to the candidate, right, I'm now just going to call and speak to your uh, area sales director because ultimately it's his decision as to whether we're going to take you on. And yeah. um, he, sp he speaks to him there live, okay, and the area sales director says, oh, it sounds great, this guy. Yeah, fantastic. Let's get him, uh, uh, let's, let's get him trained subject to this uh, meeting. Then what happens is either they meet separately or they have the conversation there and then, but it should be, it should be they meet separately. Okay, yeah. that they meet this new guy that we've got for them and they um, uh, meet him for a coffee or whatever. They can meet him at their house. They can meet him for a coffee. They can do meet some premises if there are any, whatever, in a nice hotel, yeah. whatever it is. And what they do yeah. is um, they take them through the prospecting. They take them through the purpose. Again, you'll have done that in this stage, but the manager takes them through that. Okay. Yeah. Um, takes them through the prospecting and selling process, gives them the CD. And says, go home and listen to that. And then yeah. before their training, if he likes them, he says, right, I'm going to put you on the training course. Okay? I'm going to put you on the training program. Yeah. Um, but before we do that, two things are going to happen. Uh, three things, in fact. One is you're going to listen to your CD. Okay? And learn it. Yeah. Secondly, we're going to go out and we're going to do some prospecting uh, until we make one appointment. Now, that appointment is going to be for you after you've come back off your training. Yeah. And then what we're also going to do is you're going to see one presentation. You're going to watch me do a presentation with an SME uh, target client. Then yeah. what will happen is by the time that recruit um, has been uh, – so by the time those three things have been completed – the new recruit has and has listened to his CD on prospecting and selling. He has been out prospecting with his area manager, his regional sales director, and seen him conduct prospecting using the script he's got on his CD and successfully yeah. make an appointment for him yeah. when he comes back off his training. Yeah. Yeah? So he already yeah. goes on his training with an appointment in his diary. Yeah, before he's even done the training, yes. he's seen the system. Absolutely. Post. And he's seen a presentation from his area yeah. sales manager. And whether that's yeah. sold or not is irrelevant. He's seen the system. Yeah. So the area manager doesn't have to go and pick out one of his mates and do some, some dodgy pitch. He's just doing a presentation. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. And a lot of those will sell, naturally, because when you've got a rookie with you as well, you, you, your game just goes up anyway. Right? Yeah. yeah. So what will happen is these – and then how 
how what fired up is this rookie going to be? So you, the regional yeah. the regional sales director, the area manager, phones you and says, "Hey, um, whilst he's guy, and says, right, we've done the training. I love him. He's going to be great. Okay, um, he's listened to the CD. Uh, we've been out prospecting, and we've seen a presentation. Now, what also the uh, area sales director does is he meets the partner." Okay, he meets his wife or partner um, uh, because that's who the real boss is. Yeah. That's really important, that. So it would be good. It, yeah. It's usually really good if, 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 if thinking about this, if the area manager says, right, what I'll do is I'll drop around. Where do you live? Oh, yeah, I know where that is. I'll pop around and, and catch you, introduce myself to you and your partner or whatever. And we'll, we can talk about that again in a minute when we talk about recruitment. Sure. But meeting the partner and, and satisfying them on this system is crucial and for her to be able to see um, that I know it'll be a her most of the time but her, the partner yeah, to be able yeah. to see one they've been given a training system that, that, that uh, is going to help them and two they've been out and seen it work and then they're going yeah. he phones you back and says yeah I'm with you know John and Jenny and uh, done the training been out on the call got an appointment for him on Friday for when he comes back off his training and we've been out and done a presentation, sold it, or we didn't sell this one, but did a full presentation. He's on the course. You then speak to him again, so it's full circle now, and you say, great. You confirm it all, and you say, right, you've got your training on the... Tra now, we'll talk about what the training course is in a minute. Okay? Yeah. And then you say, right, look forward to seeing you on the course, and then you, dis you, you confirm that with them, confirm it in writing, and then they turn up to the course. Yeah. You with me? Yeah, absolutely. They turn up to the course already having seen everything done. Yeah. Yeah. That's what needs to happen across the board. Why? Because it falls off of our purpose. Yeah. Nobody's going to earn 100K ultimately if they don't start like this. Yeah. Anything else is just... That's it. If, they, if, they, if they've, they've got an appointment already set for <laughs> day one after training, that's, that's just hitting the ground yeah. running, isn't it? Anything else short of this is a shortcut and is laziness. This is best practice, yeah. isn't it? Everything yeah. is covered. There's yeah. part one of your strategy. Okay? Brilliant. There's part yeah. one of the system. Yeah. Happy with that? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Fantastic. Right. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to talk a little bit more about managing that guy through to what we call establishment. Okay? Yeah. Because when, uh, so the, the new uh, consultant to start with is a T status. So he's a T rep. Okay? That's what he is. He's a T yeah. rep. Um, yeah. Uh, in fact, uh, B, T and E established. Okay, so he's a B rep to start with, which is a beginner. Uh, he comes off his course okay. as a beginner. When he makes his first sale, he becomes a T rep, and then he has to do ten sales to become an E rep, a T as trainee, and uh, ten sales to become an E rep, which is established. Okay, so beginner trainee. Yeah, beginner is, is, is until he sold his first sale. Trainee is when he first yeah. is, sells his first sale. He's a trainee, and then once he's done his first ten, he's established. Yeah. A, a regional sales director, his job, your, your area sales manager's job, is to get them to established as quick as possible. A maximum of 10 weeks. Maximum. Because if yeah. it's 10 weeks, he's earning 250 a week. Yeah. So maximum. It should be five weeks. So the target is five yeah. weeks, especially if we're advertising for... Uh, 50k, 100k, and all the rest of it. Then I mean, we need to tweak that, by the way. Um, but yeah. if he if he does this in five weeks, he's going to be earning 500 pound per week, right? Yeah. Which is 25k as a trainee. So as a trainee, you learn 25k. Then when you're established, you'll double that up, and you learn 50k. And then in your second year, this is the key to it. When you're senior, that's the S, the next one, B T E S. In the second year, when you're senior, yeah. that's when you'll be earning a hundred are you making sense yeah. is this making sense so Absolutely, a T-Rep yeah. is yeah. one sale per week okay uh, yeah. Matt, worst case scenario 
Um, but, but what should happen is we'll target it for five weeks, which means he's going to be doing two sales a week, earning 500 quid a week, which is 25k. Once he's established, he'll be doing four sales a week, which is 50k yeah. as an established representative and then in his second year um he'll be in a position there when, when, when we really fatten it up to earn in 100k yeah. yes that and yeah, we'll flesh this out over time but that is the process from never having sold to selling your first order to becoming established and then route to 100k so this is your um uh route to 100k Broken yeah. down. You with me, John? Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, absolutely. Makes sense? Yeah, spot on. So that's, yeah. that's what needs to happen with a new consultant. And it is the area manager's responsibility to do this. And what's absolutely crucial is if the area manager doesn't like the guy or isn't going to take him on or whatever, he says to you, no, yeah. uh, he's not turned up for the canvassing, the prospecting. He didn't turn up for the presenter. He hasn't learned the CD. We're not putting him on the training. And that's yeah. really important yeah. that as well is that's another reason why you leave it to the area manager to make the decision as to whether he's going to be hired or not. Because then if it doesn't work, the area manager can't say, well, you gave him to me. I was never sure about him. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, there's actually, yeah. if he's the right kind of guy, the area manager is uh, he's, he's, he's obligated to deliver. And then yeah. it's like, right, so you're happy yeah. with him? He's learned the CD? Yes. He's been on? Yes. And you've been on a presentation, yes, great. You met the partner, yes, fantastic, right, we'll train him. And then we hold the yeah. area manager responsibility for getting him established, which is a, a, an order in his first week, an appointment, bef a, a, the work before the course, an appointment as soon as he comes back, the day after the course, a sale every week for 10 weeks, worst case, and then it's established, and then yeah. to really beef it up and, uh, during, from there. And then once he's, been, he's done, let's say, 100 deals, he becomes established. Sorry, it becomes senior. Yeah, yeah. So it's like senior, establishments, yeah. the 10 orders, then you could say once you've done 100, you become senior. And then long term, John, you can build yeah. something extra in senior reps when they've done 100, like a little extra 0.1% or something. You could build a bonus in there or some, something small. Yeah, yes? Yeah. You with me? Yeah. Even, even, even extra 50 that's it. with their deal. Yes, and like senior that. rep yeah. then enjoys yeah. that status, and that's where your 100K comes in. But right now, yeah. your biggest challenge yeah. is actually getting people in and getting them selling. It's the toughest yeah. thing you will ever do in yeah. any business. When you're building a business like this, the toughest thing you'll ever do is get a beginner to establishment to get it self-sufficient. Yeah. But it's yeah. absolutely possible, providing we are living our purpose and everything we're doing is along these lines. It has to be rigid. It has to be planned, structured, and carried out like a military exercise every day. Yeah, yeah. Just one thing I'm not clear on. You know a bit about meeting the partner? Because that's, that's quite a new angle. That's a very new angle for me. How okay. would you actually ask that Can question? Can we come to that in a minute when we talk about uh, interviewing? Yeah. Great. Oh, sure. yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. what I'm now yeah. going to do is I'm just kind of, I'm not going off piste, but I need to see this through in terms of, okay, how does the manager make this happen every week with his team? So we need the structure yeah. for the working week. Yes? So yeah. what we have now yeah. is we have the structure for the working week that your area managers work to. And there may well be some area manager training that you need to do here because you've got to get them on board with this. And it may be that some of them fall over and you need to get get new ones but the, the key is this John is that this is the system that works you don't fit the system to what people like and don't like you, you find people who are prepared to work to the system okay yeah, make this is exactly yeah. what I would be doing and you're paying for me for this right now so, so I need to be I can't be wishy-washy I can't say well, what do you think I'm going to give you exactly what I know works and what I've built multi-million pound teams on okay Love it. right yep, so absolutely. now this is the um uh, this is your activity. Okay, so uh, this is this is, is it. Um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, and what you've got here is you have a.m., p.m., eve. You've got three. Now, can you see that? And again, I know it'll it will yeah. be on the recording, but I know it's kind of. You'll have everything captured. If you've got any other questions, John, then you, we can just tie them all up. Okay? So you've now got sure. seven days. And here's the way it's going to be when they come back off their course. Because once we've done this, we've done the system. 
I mean, we do then need to look at the sales process yeah. and the prospecting, which we'll do at the end. And we then need to look at the recruitment and yeah. the advertising and what we do on the course, how we interview them and get them to the course. But then this is what they're going to go into. Yeah. After the course, this is what they're coming into. They're coming into this culture. They're coming into this yeah. way of being managed. Yes? So this is how the area yeah. manager needs to be running his, and you need to be insisting this is how they're running their business. Okay? So they come yeah. off the training course and they have their first appointment already lined up. Yeah? Yeah. And here's the actual key to this. Right? Absolutely crucial. So who do you think goes on the first appointment after the course? Yeah. Who goes on it? Um, I'm thinking, obviously, the, 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 the guy himself. But Absolutely. Maybe and assists, B and ASM assist. Yeah. So he goes on the yeah. appointment and the manager comes back in with him because they've made the appointment together, so the customer's not going to have a problem with it. And the B rep goes through and does the presentation yeah. and the manager helps out because this guy is going to be going home to his missus and his missus is going to say, right, did you sell? And we need to give yeah. him every chance of selling this first one. Otherwise, if, if, you're never, if you're going to come off your training, you've, you've applied for this job, you've thought, wow, wow, it sounds really good. You've, you've been out, you've met a guy, you've, met, you've, been, you've got a CD, you've seen an appointment, you've seen a presentation, you've been on the course, you've been absolutely whizzed up. And you come out and you go on the presentation. If you don't sell it, your head's down. We need to give him every yeah. chance yeah. to sell that, which means the manager goes on the appointment with him. And then that results yeah. in an icebreaker. Yeah. When the icebreaker uh, then happens is that's when you make a big deal out of it and send a group text, which you need to have a full system on group text. Remind me of that. A group text to everybody, all area managers, yeah. all reps, um, you know, congratulations to, Sh Sh to, to, to Simaz. He's come off his course. He's sold on his first one with the assistance of his manager, Jim. Brilliant. 250 in the bank. On yeah. to the next one. Who's going to be next? Text. Boom. That goes out. Everyone gets it. Right? Yeah. yeah. So... That's what happens on the first appointments. Then that new rookie comes into this yeah. system. This system is um, a working week. Okay? This is how it is. And the Monday morning is the sales meeting because Monday morning, everybody needs their head woken up and they need to be put into selling mode. Yeah. Totally. They've got to be put back into selling in mode after they've been at the weekend with the family's been on the piss or not what or not as the case may be yeah right that's what they need and, and everyone yeah. needs to attend that now that might be a sales meeting at a um if it were me doing it here i would hire the um little there's a little restaurant a pub a, a independent pub up the road and they've got a, a, an upstairs room where in the morning for 20 quid I could hire the room and coffees and there's a flip chart and it's four or five chairs and they just go into that and it's like a little sales meeting with a flip chart and chairs not some posh hotel it's just a local little place um, and it's cost me 20 quid yeah. and I can have my guys together on a Monday for a face-to-face -face sales meeting where they're all together they meet each other we, we do training we go through the CD we go through the results we go through the caps for the week on the flip chart of everybody's caps we go through the uh, story Stories from the yeah. week's successes. We give a little bottle of wine out or whatever to the guy who's just broken ice and sold his first order. Then we uh, go through the sales process and we plan out the week and who's going to be with who and who's going to do what. And then I buy them a, a bacon butty and, yeah. and, they, and if we've done really well and had a great week, they can have a bit of lunch. And it costs the manager 50 quid a week to get his people together and really motivated. And that is awesome. The only alternative to yeah. that as a drop down is geographically and the way things are these days if it has to be it's a conference call or a, or it's a, a webinar all on together yeah. but it's but it's a meeting it's together yeah. now if you can get them all face to face john and the managers pay for that out of their money brilliant at the end of the day they're earning off of these guys so to invest 30 40 quid a week in a t small little meeting like that it, 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 they should be able to do it yeah uh what, yeah. what duration Pencil do you 12. have these for? How many hours? 10 till 12. Okay. So that's 10 till 12. And then what happens afterwards, um, after the meeting, is the manager has one-to-ones with uh, all the reps who are blank, so who haven't sold that week. And at that one-to-one -one meeting, yeah. 
afterwards so he'll either keep them back and do them one to one or he'll just go around to their houses or he'll see them separately but in that afternoon he sees um, his blankers who haven't sold the, in the week because now they they haven't earned in the seven from the previous Monday to Sunday they haven't sold yeah so what he needs to do is he needs yeah. to one they bring with them um, the, all the records and he needs to phone up the clients that in front of them that that, uh, that he's presented to if he's done six presentations that week the manager phones those clients and says hi there this is Paul I'm the uh, area sales director for Shire and City you saw my uh, consultant last week um, we, we, t we uh, believe we took you through the advantages of this 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 and how did it go and what did you think and what were your thoughts and what did you think of the cost and what did you think to the presenter and what did you th and he makes sure that they went through the pitch on every one and he makes sure that we try to handle it and he yeah. co uncovers from that things that were missed and he uncovers from that things that we didn't do right and things that we and, and, and he shows there and then and he tries to close the deal down if he possibly can and one yeah. he will get some business yeah. from that and secondly it will work as exceptional training make sense yeah and that's what he does yeah, in the one-to-ones. Yeah. Then what he does in the one-to-ones with those blank reps is he agrees that he will go out with them um, each in that week to help them make appointments if they're struggling or will go out on accompanied appointments for those who are yeah. doing lots of presentations but they're not selling. Are you with me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll figure out what's with their caps ratio, figure out where they're struggling. Are they struggling yeah. to make appointments? And, of course, the manager must closing? speak to these unsold, yeah. uh, unsold pitches. So then he knows what's happening. Yeah. Yeah, and if you've got a sub rep yeah. who's trying to take the piss and he's declaring pitches he's not made, then the manager will soon find out when he phones up and the rep says, hang on a minute, yeah. I haven't done it. Because there's no point carrying people who are off doing some yeah. other job reporting fictitious figures to you. And you're going to have that. Okay? Yeah. So this, just, yeah. this yeah. just nails everything. So then during the week, yeah. this is, if you like, this is an area manager's activity plan. He runs his meeting and he has his one-to-ones. Okay, and then what he might have yeah. um, here is, you know, Wednesday morning he might have an accompanied, an accompanied uh, canvas of prospecting, and then on Thursday morning afternoon he might have yeah. an accompanied presentation with one of his people. So he'll have accompanied presentations yeah. and accompanied appointments here, you know, at various stages. Yeah. Plus he'll have his own yeah. prospecting and yeah. his own presentations to go at mixed in there yeah so an area manager is not someone yeah. who just goes out and does his own thing and gets these guys sending him figures and runs a meeting but he has to be visible each week and he has to go out and show up yeah so on a monday the guys will also in the meeting they'll also say yeah. right here's where i'm canvassing this week here's my walk plan here's my plans here's my diary and the manager then can show up anywhere he likes yeah. and watch them play yeah yeah and join in watch them canvas yeah. lead you do one, I do one, all that kind of thing, and go in on a presentation, can pull the rep into one of his own presentations. So the manager's week needs to be working with others and doing his own work. And if he's doing his own pitches and someone needs some extra help, he just drags them along and says, come with me. Yeah. You with me? Yeah. Is that Brilliant. making sense? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, spot on. So one other question, I mean, you, you might be coming to this. The sales meeting weekly, obviously. Um, daily, do you do, would yeah, you say, gonna, a conference I'm call daily or is that excessive? Okay, so the okay. other thing, um, now let's take, uh, let's lose these because we're now going to look at this from the point of view of the rep's diary, the consultant's diary. We've just done this from the point of view of the manager, yes? Okay. Yeah. So... I am now, as a, as a consultant, I know that I attend a Monday sales meeting every week. Yeah? That's it. Yeah. Set in stone. Yeah. Okay? Um, and yeah. I also know that as a consultant, what I need to be doing every day is 30 contacts for one, um, for two appointments for one presentation. That's my daily caps. That's what they have to be. My daily cap um, has to yeah. be... 30 for two for one. I need to speak to 30 people face to face or on the phone every day, five days a week. And I need to make two appointments. So one in 15 people I speak to 
makes an appointment. One of them will blow out or cancel or whatever. So I'll, from those two, I'll make one presentation. Yeah. So every day I do my th I've got 30 for two for one, 30 for two for one, five days a week. I, I do my canvassing and my appointments throughout the day so that by Friday, what I've done is I've done five through 150 contacts for um, 10 appointments for five presentations and out of five presentations, guess what will happen? Yeah. One sale Someone minimum. Sell someone. The whole idea of being in this business yeah. is that you sell a minimum. If you want to get established, you sell a minimum of one order per week in the first 10 weeks. If you do this, you'll probably get two out of five sell, and that's your two orders a week, 500 pounds. Yes? Yeah. 150, 10, yeah. 5, 1. That's what we need to be seeing. That's what yeah. people need to be doing. 150 quality contacts a week, 30 a day. Yeah. If you want to split it down, 15 in the morning for one appointment, 15 in the afternoon for one appointment, and then you've got one appointment to keep as a demonstration that you'll do during that day. So every day you speak to 30 people, you go to two appointments, one of them blows out, and one of them you pitch. A couple of times a week you'll sell. Yeah. You attend a Monday meeting, that's yeah. it. Every night when you're finished, you text yeah. your manager. Every evening, you'll be finished at 6, right? Unless you see, unless you're seeing businesses in the evening, six, which seven, some are four. open that way, okay? Um, or some SMEs are around yeah. Saturdays. Some SMEs are in on Sundays. Yeah. Okay, so, you know, if you want to earn big, yeah. then you, you'll be prepared. Because the, the beauty of this is you will have some time off. You can go and drop the kids off. You can go to the gym during the day. You can do this, that, and the other. Of course you can. So we expect that if yeah. you've not done 150 for 10 for 5 for a sale by Friday night, we want to know what the fuck you're doing on Saturday and Sunday before you come to your Monday sales meeting blank. You with me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Absolutely. And then in the yeah. evening, they yeah. text off their caps to the uh, area sales director. And the area sales directors send you, yeah. they go up line and they send you the caps for the team and themselves for the day for the total. And then you keep you keep yeah. a week's report, the Monday tolls, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays and Sundays as well, because you need to know if there's any more. So then you've got a full seven days for the whole company by rep, by by uh, area, by geographical location, by manager. You've got a full seven days, and you can see who's done well, who's done what on what days. You've got it all spreadsheeted, and also it's available at the sales meetings for everybody to review who's doing well in the company and why they're doing well. And everyone can see everyone's caps yeah. for every day, all there for the total week. And they write them up at the meeting. They go up to the flip chart and they write their own caps on there. And they can see everybody's because yeah. you've captured them every night in a report. Is it making sense? Yeah. Brilliant. And during the week, that Absolutely, rep, of course, yeah. will have the opportunity to go out on, with his manager on, on appointments or his manager will come to him on appointments or he may do, you know, whatever. Yeah. So it's all in there. Any questions? Um, how ruthless would you I be with this if people are Because our purpose is to get people to earn 100000 in the second year. So, so, so if, if we had two examples, I mean, if, if we had at the moment, for example, there's one guy I know wouldn't follow this at is all. Is he would producing you, would it right? uh, with his own system that's better than this? No. Then, then, no. No, forget no. it. Then. Well, the, the odds are here or there, but yeah. Um, and secondly, then, if it was someone who was sort of half doing it, so if, if it was just thinking about a rep, not an area manager, so if they were doing, like, for example, the caps, they would text it in three days, but they weren't doing rigidly the system. Yeah. I mean, does it, it really if, boil down to if they're producing uh, or not? If they it, start it, doing this, they, put it this way, if you have area managers who are really sold yeah. on this and they do it themselves, then every rep you bring into the business will yeah. do it as well. If you have area managers that are not sold on yeah. this, get new area managers. Because they will not be – they will not yeah. – they will absolutely not – be able to train and coach others or, uh, to produce, to get them established, to last with your business. They will not be able to do it unless this system is yeah. in place. Any, anything less than this equals failure. Yeah. And if yeah. you have existing people who won't go with it, Great. they're going to have to go. Guess what? They're going anyway. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're not producing them. No, the, the, the other so. two things we yeah. need to look at as well is phone closing okay. and laundering. Phone closing is when I, as a rep, am in with a, a client and it's not going well and I'm going to leave without the order. And what I do then is I yeah. ping a little call whilst I'm uh, uh, with... Um, uh, with my client and I ping a little text to my manager and I say Jim can you call me text and then the phone rings and I say oh I sorry uh, Mr. Clark Mr. Prospect I didn't I, I usually turn the phone off is it okay if I, and the prospect says yeah not a problem because he thinks it's nearly done with yes I am with a prospect right now yeah just want to he just wants to thank yeah. you for your time and then the manager goes on to the prospect and tries to help close the deal yeah right yeah and he just yeah. gets him back on to to this, on, on what's yeah. on the CD, the steps to the sale, the process. And then also laundering is doing it afterwards. You yeah. know, I said that if, if a rep's blank, then uh, on a Monday, the manager would keep him back from the meeting and go through all his unsold pit declared pitches and would phone them all. Well, he can do that on a daily basis. Yeah. If he's not spoke to them there and then because the rep hasn't phoned from yeah. the event live, then he can phone and he can say, Just, but you didn't sell again today. Oh, what a oh, they were so close. They were really good. Why didn't you text me and do the phone close? Oh, it wasn't really applicable. So much was going on. It was just too hard to engineer. Okay, what's the number? What's the name? How far did you get? And then he phones him. That that day, that afternoon, that evening. Yeah. Now we can work on scripts in this going forward, John. Yeah. Those are two other killer strategies yeah, sure, sure. that are going to help you build a killer business. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you with me? Yeah. Right. Now, Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, we're yeah. at 1247. Now what we want to look at, there's two other things before we now look at recruiting and training for this. Okay. Um, and by the way, John, when you rerun yeah. this afterwards and go through this over the next week, there'll be a whole load of questions and stuff and extra things to, to plan longer term, which we can do as and when you see fit on, on future calls, should you choose to have a future call. Okay. So now what we have is sure, we've got sure. this CD, right? And we've got this training manual, okay, yeah. uh, which has got our purpose, it's the purpose uh, of Shire and City, it's the Bible, right, and everything's on the CD, and you, you go through this on the course, so you've got this on the training course, and you've got it there, now tell me, yeah. how's the training course going to work? Um, at the moment, I'm, I'm more or less training people one-to-one, -one. so we'll, we'll meet up, hotel, um, you know, hotel somewhere, and I'll basically talk, talk through presentation, okay. how, talk through the prospects. How there. long does that take um, for, that's for what one we're doing. person? Okay, so this uh, is what you do, two hours. Uh, John, is that you do on a Wednesday morning, okay, halfway through the week, because you're going to show up to Monday meetings. And if they're happening on conferences, then you just need yeah, to show yeah. up. Sometimes you go 10 o'clock, you join one. 10.30, you join another. 11.15, you join another. If it's on, if it's on telephone conferences. If it's in meetings, yeah. then you do one a week and you go to different physical events. Yeah. On a Wednesday morning, yeah, you do, you, on a yeah, Wednesday yeah. you do your training. Okay. Now, um, I would do a full day. Okay. Of, of training where you, um, yeah. uh, you get them somewhere and... Uh, you know what we're talking about here for a room for the day um, or you can do it sat round or whatever but we can talk about that separate I don't want to start wasting valuable time here John talking about fucking training rooms right you get them for a full day and yeah, you yeah. take them through uh, in the morning the manual and the CD which has on it how to prospect how to present yeah and the system that you're going into the working yeah. week Caps, everything, yeah, yeah? and 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 yeah. The, and the career plan, yeah, yeah, yeah. the career plan, yeah. which is the route to a hundred thousand. So you got your purpose in there, the route to a hundred thousand, yeah. the weekly planner, the fact that they've got an appointment on Thursday already after the Wednesday training with you. They've got an appointment on Thursday. They've seen the pitch. They get you go through the um, the the first ten weeks. You know, uh, then their establishment, then what happens after that, and then area sales director, they can be promoted when they can, um, you know, you take them through a career plan. And then you're taken through prospecting, yeah. right? Yeah. And then you take them through presenting. And that's the morning, that's Wednesday morning, and then you have a little break and they all go off and buy their own sarni if you want to keep it low on cost. And then they come back Wednesday afternoon, and then Wednesday. Wednesday afternoon, you role play yeah. it all, and they role play it back, and you do stop start, so you make sure they've digested it. Because if you just do a couple of hours one way, it ain't understood. 
They've learnt nothing. They've just listened. Oh, mm, mm, yeah. Mm, mm. It's role, role play. Yeah. And then at the end of that, on the end of that day, you finish and you give each of them, I don't care how corny this sounds, you give them a certificate, right, which says you've now got that. They put that certificate or, or, and they get their ID. Have you got company ID? Right, so you need a little lanyard with, uh, no, uh, you know, a smart little lanyard with Sharon yeah. City on and a little picture of them, right? You get these done for Tuppence Apenny. Uh, and the logo, yeah. and they have on the consultants. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And when they then, be, when they become established, yeah. they have uh, established consultants. And when they become senior, they have, and they have to wear that. So the, at the end of the training course, they get a certificate, and they get the badge consultant, and you phone the manager, and they say, right, finish, you go, guys. And then all they go away. That way, you've got four or five guys together with you, John, doing a full day, and it's a great buzz for you. You with me? Yeah, yeah. And that's what you do every yes. Wednesday or every Absolutely, time yeah. you have Brilliant. recruits. And if, it's, if, if, some, if there isn't enough recruits coming in, you need to ask your three managers why. Because right now they should be giving you one a week each. Yeah? So you're going to have a training yeah. course yeah. every Wednesday. Um, and, you know, yeah. you might say it's 10 till 4, not 9 till 5. But, you know, you can do all of this in a full day. Everything in the morning from you and then role play in the afternoon. You got it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, structure for the, the training right manual and the CV. Yeah. We're coming to that. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay. Structure for the uh, training manager and the manual and the CD is exactly the same. Okay. But we need to now talk about what it is. Yes. Yeah. So it's exactly the same. The, 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 this is yeah. so that one that they can yeah. learn and read and go through and reread and make notes and highlights and all that. And the, the, the CD is when they're in the car. Yeah. And they're on the way to an appointment. Yeah. yeah. And it, you can save it as well as, a, as a, yeah. a, a, a music file and it can go on phones and all the rest of it. But they're listening to this and they're learning it. Okay. So first of all, you have the purpose. Okay. Yeah. That's number one. Um, uh, it's the why of the company. Yeah. And then secondly, um, you have the rewards of fulfilling that purpose. So it's the route to 100K. Yep. And then you have yeah. um, uh, the prospecting. Then you have the presenting. Yeah. Then you have the um, the working yeah. week. So the work the work week and all the rest of it, which we've been through. So we've been through all that now. Uh, uh, the, yeah, and then we have yeah, you know yeah. help going forward and additional resources and a bit of motivational stuff to finish. Yes. So, uh, and then at the back of the book, yeah. you have the certificate okay. in. You then sign sign for them, and they take that away, and they give you an ID. What we need to now look at is prospecting and pitching. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah. Dead simple. Uh, you're prospecting. The, the straight line thing that um, Jordan Belfort straight line thing. All very well for those guys, but not for this. The kind of people who are going to be successful here can't handle all that stuff. Right. They just need to make speak to 30 people a day. Yeah. What they're going to do is they're going to go www.a to pro when they prospect, okay? And they're going to go IOU ASAP when they're presenting, okay? Yeah. Prospecting is who I am, what I'm yeah. doing, when I'm coming back, assume the appointments. www assume who I am, w yeah. what I'm doing, when I'm coming back, assume the appointments. Right? What I'm, who I am on the phone or face to face with the ID. Yes? My, and they've got to do 30 a day of these. Yeah. And they will get two appointments. Who I am. Yeah. My name is Paul. Good. So, good morning. My name is Paul. I represent Shire and City Investments. Okay? That's who, uh, who I am. Yeah? What I'm doing. Um, yeah. I'm visiting uh, local business owners this week to give them an opportunity to uh, make terrific savings um, uh, uh, on uh, what's going to be a, an inevitable business expense going forward around the, the staff and, and blah, 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 okay? Um, and it's also going to provide to, to – to, it's going to make yeah. savings, okay? Um, it's also going to protect the employers from, uh, from government fees and all the rest of it and provide staff 
staff with an exceptional pension. Um, but the purpose yeah. of what I'm doing this week is I'm visiting local business owners whilst I'm in this postcode to give them the information so that when they're ready to do it, when it comes to the, uh, their effective date, when it comes to the deadline date, they've got the information, they know how much it's going to be and they can call me back and I can yeah. simply take care of it. So it's going to take around 15 minutes to do. So that's what, who I am, what I'm doing when I'm coming back, coming back in the next few days, it takes about 15 minutes to do, then we've got everything on file for future reference, yeah. assume the appointments. Now, when's best for you, mornings or afternoons this week? That's it. I know we could get much fancier yeah. scripts, but these guys have got to... Yeah. So it's who I am, I'm Paul, I'm from Sharon oh, no, City, we're a local it, yeah. firm, yeah. We, take, we work with local employers, blah, 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 blah. What we're doing is we're seeing some local businesses this week, local businesses business owners such as yourself, providing them with some savings, uh, uh, massive savings versus leaving this forever, um, uh, protecting against you know potential yeah. fines and all the rest of it, keeping it all, all properly legislated and giving uh, local employees you know excellent staff benefits as well. This takes around 15 minutes. The beauty of this is that it's not actually to sell you anything but it's when you come to your effective date for having to do with your auto enrollment you don't have to go shopping around close to the deadline and, and, and miss it or whatever you've got all our information you know how much it is it's all done you've met us and then you just call back and say paul ready to go now and we just get, kind of complete it all dead simply so uh, and we only get round once every year or so because we've got a yeah. huge geographical area so we're in your area this week we're in this postcode this week uh, i'm seeing other businesses owners what suits you best uh, mornings or afternoons who I am what I'm doing when I'm coming back assume the appointments mornings or afternoons yeah so yeah so do because the, the one that's often taught yeah, is the one about completely three Wednesday or 11 o'clock yeah which is best for your morning or an afternoon you keep and then as soon as yeah. they say because what if the guy says I can't yeah, make yeah. 10 or 3 and then there's this great big debate halfway through the guy says I'll oh, forget it yeah, just put yeah. something in the post now, we can do a whole – we need to do stuff around yeah, objection yeah, handling. Yeah. But most most importantly, the most important thing is that your managers know how to do this and do it, and the reps do it, because if they do that 30 times a day, exactly yeah. as I've just said, it's for future reference. It's so that when you come to your deadline date – don't yeah. you like that, John? When you come to the deadline date, you just give us a call. We do it. Dead yeah, simple. yeah, yeah. Now, of course, we then know when we get in front of them, they're going to say, oh, sorry, yeah. we'll do it now. These are two separate things. We're yeah. setting the appointment. You ain't buying nothing. Yeah, we're you're just, just setting we're the only doing it because we're here this week. And we'll only yeah. get round once a year. We've got a yeah. huge area of London to cover. So if you do it now, it just means it's a phone call later when you're ready to do it. Oh, well, I'll leave it till later. Oh, we'll leave it till later then. Brilliant. That's exactly what we're doing. Yeah. 15 minutes now. When it comes to the deadline time, you yeah. get it frozen at today's price, not what it might be in six to nine months' time, you know, or whatever. You build a little close on that and um, you just give us a call back so when's yeah. good for your mornings or afternoons that's the that's the prospecting yeah and they do 30 of them yeah. a day yeah you the, you know the rooftop yeah. mantra you've talked about before I do that in it, who we when are would you would you put that in at this stage we believe in within that yeah yeah so yeah. lift something straight out of the purpose or whatever yeah. do it there is that okay yeah there's your prospecting. They don't need to learn every yeah. answer to every objection. Yeah. If they just do that 30 times a day, two people will say, okay, 10 a week, five will blow out, forget yeah, about yeah, it, they won't be there, whatever, and five will be there, and one other five will buy yeah. now, and that's what we want to establish here to start with. I O U A S A P. that's your, your, your yeah. training process, which is um, the inner game, making sure that all of your guys know your company purpose. And, and know it not just word for word, but they know exactly yeah. what it means. And they're all about uh, the purpose of the business working in harmony with the SME. So there's a real inner uh, uh, integrity. Yes, they understand that. Outer game, they are organized yeah. around yeah. a working structure of, of proper time and methodology. And they're organized in their outer game. With a, with a manager, with a structure, with a proper working week and a way to earn money, the route to 100K. That's the outer game that they follow. The inner game is the purpose. The outer game is the route to 100K. Yes? The US, USP is the rooftop sales mantra. They need to know yeah. that. Bang. Yes? A is when you go in, you yeah. start asking. It's the fact find. Yeah. It's all your fact finding of a sales pitch. You know that, John. You just 
you, you've got to sow. The S is the story sell yeah. from the fact find. Yeah. Based on what you've told me, this is what we need to do. This is how long it will take. This is how long it'll take every month. These are the pay rewards for you. This is what we'll do. These are the costs that you, you you won't have to lift a finger. It'll be dead easy. You, take, you just sell all the beautiful benefits. Action is now or later. You want to leave this until later and call us when it's close to your time? No problem. Yeah. You want to do it now? That's great. There's a discount if you do it now, if that's the way you work or there isn't. I don't know where the legalities are. If you do it now, at least it never needs to wait. You know, you're not going to take it. Yeah. Great. So basically, how we, I mean, how we so do it. So there it is, action now versus later. Yeah, if we come it's done now, you've got yeah. peace of mind. That's, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. It's inevitable anyway. You're going to pay more close to the time. There's your action. And the payoff yeah. is, let's just summarize all of the reasons why you should do this and why you should do this now. And there's all the payoff. And then at the end, if that hasn't worked, and then before he goes, the rep does the little text thing. Oh, my phone's ringing. The manager has a go at closing it there and then. And find out what's been missed because something will have been missed. There's the sales yeah. process. So the manual is purpose, yeah. route to 100K, uh, your script uh, uh, for WWWA, you're prospecting the IOUSAP in the sales yeah. process, and then the working week and everything else, uh, your certificate, you, you know, and, all, and that's it. And that's on the CD as well, all recorded. Absolutely. So the, C the CD is basically going just through me, it all. It's uh, an audio version of the manual then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and uh, I mean roughly, just so I can gauge it when I start You'll have this. How one many pages purpose, were your manuals? Um, one route to 100k because it'll be all visual, so that's two. A third page for prospecting. Then you'll have yep. seven pages: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven, eight, nine, ten. The working week will be another page, eleven, um, probably twelve, twelve or thirteen pages. And therefore, 12, 12 five-minute well, chapters yeah, yeah. to the CD, which is 60 minutes, one hour. They can listen to that CD every day. Yeah. And they get tested on it every week at their meeting. Yeah. How's this sounding? Yeah. Brilliant. It's, yes, it's mind-blowing, actually, because it's... Uh, it's always the type of thing I've wanted to be. John, if, 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 if I had the energy it, and the inclination... Yeah, and I need fantastic. the money right now, then this is how I would build a, a, a direct sale business. Uh, I just do it around coaches and I just get people who wanted to be coaches and we do the same. Yeah, call calling yeah. businesses. We just do the same thing. It, do, it works for anything. It works for window cleaners. It's just the, this system. It's the outer, the inner and outer yeah. game of the system. You tell me the purpose yeah. of the business. That's the inner game. I've just yeah. given you the outer game to achieve that purpose. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take a break. We're going to come back and do two yeah. two significant things after yeah. this break okay and what we've got to do john is we have to do um the advert we need to well now that we've designed the system we need to now look at who are our reps and how do we write an advert and where do we put these ads yeah. and how do we do it at a low cost or zero cost and then how do we go through the recruitment process to get them on the course and yeah. then after that we'll review all, all those needs and then what we've got to do from there is go through your uh, final part on um, cold call script that you can test yourself before rolling it out to others. I think we have a bit, but let's enlarge on that. I'm not. I'm not obsessed. By pretty much just covered that. So you go over a bit. We go over a bit. You've paid me the money. That's yeah, it. Yeah. Um, I want to make sure we deliver, and at the end of it, you're delighted, and that you don't feel as if there's been any rush. Um, and then I just want you to tell me how we're doing on the terms of these guys from last week and all the manpower. Sure. So should we take five minutes now and then come back? So we'll stop. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have a fag break now. Yeah, what time for All the right, break? and uh, five minutes, and then we'll come back and I'll start recording again. Break. Remind me to start recording when All I right, come so back on, because this one will have stopped.